In this video, we'll learn how to apply gel polish. The following items are required. Gel base coat, gel top coat, gel polish, alcohol and lymph-free wipes or alcohol wipes, a wooden stick or a cuticle pusher. When doing a gel manicure, we can divide it into two parts, the prep or preparation step and the gel application step. Gel doesn't like skin and it really doesn't like moisture. In order to get a long-lasting application, we want to remove both the moisture and the skin from the nail plate so we can apply the gel polish on a clean canvas. Push back the skin around the nail with a wooden stick or a cuticle pusher of choice. Please do this gently. And if you have any dead skin stuck to your nail plate, remove it with your method of choice. Once the nail is free of skin, do one swipe on the nail with either alcohol or pure acetone. This will remove moisture and oils from the nail, prepping the nail plate for the gel application. It's important that you never apply cuticle oil, lotion, or wash your hands with soaps that have moisturizers right before you do your manicure. Also, make sure to never do a gel manicure immediately after an activity where the nail has been exposed to water for long periods of time, such as taking a shower, being in the pool, doing dishes, etc. Now that the nail plate is free of moisture and skin, we can go ahead and start applying our gel polish. You're going to start with one thin coat of the base coat and cure it under a lamp. It's important to do thin coats at every step to ensure the gel cures properly. If your lamp is LED or UV LED, cure for one minute. If your lamp is UV only, cure for two minutes. After the base coat is cured, we're ready for the first coat of polish. Do one thin coat of the gel color and cure it the same way you cured the base coat. If at any point during your application you get some gel polish on your skin, please make sure to remove it before curing it under the lamp. One of the most important things during gel application is to avoid getting the product on your skin. Getting gel polish on your skin can lead to allergies and it's also one of the main causes of gel manicures lifting. You can do as many coats of the gel color as you need to build the opacity that you desire. Just cure each coat individually before going on to the next. Once we're done with the gel color, we can apply one coat of the top coat and cure the same way as the previous layers. Now that we have cured the top coat, you'll notice there's a sticky layer on it. This is normal, it's called the inhibition layer, and you can remove it by swiping a lymph-free wipe over the nail with either alcohol or gel cleanser. After we're done removing the sticky layer of the top coat, we're done with the gel manicure. To ensure your manicure lasts as long as possible, remember to never use your nails as tools. This avoids chipping of the polish and avoids damage to your natural nail.